Okay, so the numbers are in for the first month of next-gen console sales. We all know they were released uh, in early November. Now we are like a little bit over a month, I would say, since the release. And the PS5, to no surprise, is uh, leading the war so far because Sony has a bigger fan base uh, than Microsoft, that's for sure, because they've been out longer than Microsoft, for one. And Sony fans are loyal. Like, even if the PlayStation 5 was trash, people would still go buy it because a lot of PlayStation fans just are PlayStation for life. Same with Microsoft. They are fanboys. Now, Nintendo didn't do too bad in this war because people are still buying the Switch. And we know Nintendo have a fan base bigger than both Microsoft and Sony. So... The sales are in the PS5, um, Xbox Series X and S, and the Switch launch sales contest have um, definitely came in. Now, we all knew that Sony would win as far as numbers, but I'm truly, truly impressed by Microsoft numbers. Now, according to data by VG Charts, uh, Sony actually sold 3.3 million PS5s. And this is worldwide, uh, with gamers in the U.S. snapping up nearly 1.3 million of those, while 1.5 million were purchased in Europe, and over 200,000 were sold in Japan. Now, yeah, while the PS5 outsold both the Series X and S and Nintendo Switch in its first four weeks of life, both the other consoles were still posted respected, respectable figures. Apparently, the Switch amassed a figure of close to 2 million sales in the same length of time from its launch, which was originally in March of 2017. And the Xbox Series X and S consoles are closing in on 2 million units, sold with a current estimate of 1.8. So the PS5 just won the U.S. and Europe markets, uh, while the difference from Microsoft hardware was considerable for Europe uh, Xbox fans were more abundant in the U.S. with 988 units sold in the market. Now we're still tallying up the rest of the holiday season, next-gen sales, and of course they didn't launch enough of these. Uh, the tide could easily turn, and as you can see, we're talking um, merely, let's say, uh, close one million and a half sales that defer so it's not like a long stretch i'll say let's give it a good two million more people bought the playstation maybe but still it's always been close between the two but people like i said will buy the playstation 5 because of the fan base and we're waiting to see what happens next but yeah the war has just begun and everybody's trying to get one of these next gen consoles and which one would you get? But as you can see, the Switch is still doing great because of the pandemic. And the Series X and X S is doing great as well. People are trying to get any type of gaming in their homes right now. And you can't lose with either the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X or S. Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe.